Have you ever had that annoying situation where you just can't get your foreground text to contrast enough with your background image? Oh yeah. So what do you do? Well, you probably come into the rule that holds the background image and try lowering its opacity. But gosh darn it, the foreground text opacity has also been reduced. Hmm, maybe we should try going even lower. Oh jeez. Alright, let's figure out a solution to this problem. You see, the problem here is that because this h1 is nested inside the section element, it's inheriting its opacity from the rule for the section. So what we want to do is sever that connection. First of all, let's get rid of this opacity setting on the section, because we're going to be using opacity elsewhere. Now the way that we're going to sever the connection is by putting the background image properties onto a pseudo element. The pseudo element we're going to use is called before, and we're going to use before on the section rule. If you're not familiar with pseudo elements, pseudo elements allow you to style certain parts of an element. In this case, the before element will act as the first child element of the section. And if we set it to have a content property with the value of an empty string, we'll be able to see the pseudo element in the console. And there you can see it inside of the section. Like I said, what we want to do is take the background image properties off of the section element and put them on the before pseudo element. Now in terms of sizing the pseudo element, we still want it to fill out the width and height of the parent section element. So to accomplish this, we can give it a position absolute. Now when you have an element with position absolute, you usually want to set it in relation to a parent element. And since we want to set it in relation to the section element, we can give the section rule a position relative. At the moment, if we take a peek in the browser, we don't see the background image. And that's because we still need to define our top, right, bottom, and left settings for this absolutely positioned pseudo element. So to do this all in one go, all we need to do is use the inset property and set it to a value of zero. And that's going to set all four of those position properties to zero. And now you'll see that background image magically appear in the viewport. But where's our h1? Oh, come on. Well, currently with the other elements having their position set, to relative and absolute, the h1 is getting hidden in the stacking order. Fortunately, there's a nice property that we can use called isolation. And if we set isolation to have a value of isolate, we can create a new stacking context and get that h1 out in front of all the other elements. Now that we've got it visible in the browser, let's see if we can lower the opacity of the background image independently from the text. And because we don't quite yet have that contrast that we're looking for, in the section rule, we can set a background color of black, and this will darken the background a bit and help create more of that contrast. And of course, you can try tweaking the opacity value in the pseudo element and the background color value in the section element to taste. So if you want to take your web development skills to the next level, check out the Code Creative Store for courses and free content. I'm going to leave a link for you in the description and the comment sections down below. See you next time.